Hi, my name is Valeria Montalescott and I work at the Scottish Association for Marine Science in Oban, Scotland, as Senior Project Manager. I will give you now a short overview of what the Global Seaweed Star Project is. Global Seaweed Star is a £6 million programme funded by UKRI GCRF. It includes partners from the Philippines, Malaysia and Tanzania, which are the top producing countries of eukematoids. It involves experts from CFAS, NHM, ODI, SAMS and the United Nations University. The aim of the program is to contribute to address several challenges the seaweed industry is facing on those three countries. The project focuses mainly in the case of Capophycus and Eucumia cultivation for the production of Caragenan. Eucumatoid's production is estimated to be 42% of global seaweed production. It is mainly produced in Southeast Asia and has been promoted in more than 30 countries, providing income for many small-scale farmers around the world. Indeed, it is very easy for farmers to cultivate it through vegetative reproduction, mainly from cultivars originated from the Philippines. Roughly, farmers cut small pieces from the previous harvest, attach them to rope and let them grow in the sea, either in deep water or shallow waters. After 45 days, approximately, seaweeds are harvested and then dry. However, production yields are decreasing due to disease outbreaks and pest infestations. As you can see, for example, the production in Tanzania was reduced almost to nil 10 years ago. In the Philippines, occurrence of eyesight disease has led to a loss of over $300 million between 2011 and 2013. These losses have huge socioeconomical impacts as most of the production is done by small-scale farmers. For the case of Capaphycus and Eucuma, several introduction of monoclonal cultures from Southeast Asia to many other countries have been reported for the last 30 to 40 years. This rapid expansion of eukematoid cultivation happened in the absence of effective national and international biosecurity policies, posing threats to native seaweeds as pathogen travel with the host. Also, few years after the introduction, crops become more vulnerable to diseases, sometimes leading to the collapse of the local industry. The first set of challenges the project is contributing to address is related to the seaweed itself. Work Package 1 is looking at the microbiome of cultured strain and the characterization of epiphytes and endophytes with the aim to identify the yield-limiting seaweed pathogens and pests and investigating their life cycle and how they are affected by changes on, on environmental parameters. You can see the picture on the left, for example, farm seaweeds with epiphytes, while in the right you can see uh, seaweeds affected by ice ice. War Package 3 is looking at the genetic diversity of both cultivated and wild strain. Actually, only few molecular data is available for many uncultivated and informally cultivated eukematoids. Questions like what is cultivated are yet to be answered. Indeed, because of the high morphological variability, it is very difficult for farmers to distinguish between cultivars and make informed decisions about the cultivar selection. There is therefore the need to genotype and provide farmers access to the best cultivars. Regarding wild strain, there are also concerns about what has been introduced, if there is hidden invasion of cultivated strains into wild populations. And of course, there is the need to identify new cultivable strains that are not susceptible to pests and loss of vigor. The second set of challenge is related to the people around the seaweeds and their practices. War Package 2 is determining current biosecurity policies and farm management practices to limit the introduction and spread of diseases, pests and non-native species while War Package 4 is questioning how the current industry, value chains and legislation are contributing to poverty reduction, resilience and economic growth, with questions like how farmers are coping with crop loss and price instability in a context of climate change. Thanks for your attention. To meet the rest of the team, please check our website.